Damn, Dre, you wavy. You that nigga. All right, you guys, what's good, man? Welcome back to the channel. But before we get into the video, if you guys have any problems with your hair, follow me on Instagram right here. DM me, send me pictures of your hair, questions, so I can get right back to you. Now, James asked me, how would you get rid of a dark marks on your forehead and is it bad to have too much compressions? So, those of you who have dark marks on your forehead, yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, man. If you have dark spots on your forehead, you know what I'm saying, from your do-rag, um, if you tie your do-rag too hard to wear too much compression, I'm gonna tell you what you gotta do, man. All right? <clears throat> first things first, when it comes to the dark marks on your forehead, you feel me? I, I, you can barely see mine from my do-rag, but there's people out there who has, bro, crazy dark lines, crazy dents in their forehead, crazy, you know, do-rag lines, you know, bruises from their do-rags because you guys are tying it too hard. You're tying it too hard. You're not getting waves on your forehead, man. You, you're not getting waves on the forehead. You're getting waves up here. This is where the compression should be at. You feel me? It shouldn't be on your forehead. You shouldn't be, bro, squeezing it so hard. You know what I'm saying? Don't think your do-rag is going to come off. It's not. You know what I'm saying? So, right now, I got me a do-rag here, and I'm going to show you guys how to put a do-rag on. You feel me? The right way. All right, there's a bunch of ways you can put it on, but there's ways that, you know, I put it on to stop myself from getting those bruises, those dark marks, you feel me? So, before you put on a do-rag, you know what I'm saying? Before you decide to put on your do-rag, okay? You gotta get a breast session in. You have to. We don't wear do-rags without a breast session. Those of you who wear your do-rags and you haven't brushed yet, what are you saving? What progress are you saving, man? You're just wearing the do-rag just to wear it. Stop being lazy, you feel me? So, I'm not going to get a full breast session in because I already did mine when I woke up. So, before we decide to put our do-rag on, let's brush our hair for a little bit. Alright? Now, I know some of you guys are like, oh, don't you need a mirror? Do you know that? I know my own angles. I've been brushing my hair for about, bro, seven years, you feel me? So, I know my angles. Yeah, this is like a routine to me. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's get the top a little bit more. You can use your hand for extra. You know what I mean? That's what I do. All right. Now that we did that, let's take our do-rag, all right? Now, a lot of people have different do-rags. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't have silky do-rags. A lot of people do-rags don't have, you know, the, the, you know what I mean? The string is wide open like this a lot of people do not have this all right they don't but it's okay it all ties the same you know you feel me so we're gonna put the do-rag inside out you don't want to wear it to where the stitch is in you know what i mean where it's gonna leave a line right here the stitch has to be outside out bro all right outside you feel me mine's is mine's came like that already so this is the inside of the do rag without the stitch, but the in, but the outside has the stitch. So that's how mine's came. Okay, you're gonna put it on. Now, put it above your eyebrows. Okay, this is this is what you gotta do to stop those bruises, to stop those lines on your forehead. You feel me? So we got it above we got it above our uh, our eyebrows, right? Okay, now you wanna bring it around. If you just got the one with the skinny strings, that's cool, all right? But this is the one with the with the wide flaps on it, okay, with the wide strings. Okay, it's above our forehead. All right, now we're gonna tie it. Now here, a lot of people like to pull it back so hard, man, that's gonna leave that dent on your forehead. That's gonna leave that line on your forehead. You don't gotta pull it back so hard, man. All right, it's not a slingshot, bro. We're gonna barely bring it back. Barely, man. And then we're gonna cross tie it. Like we tie in shoes, you feel me? I like to put this part in my mouth. No homo. And I bring this part around. Alright. Okay.
and then I hold it here, all right? Now, when you guys bring it around, you don't have to bring it around so tight. That's just too tight, man. You already got the first layer underneath it. Now you got this second layer. Now you gotta hold this and then bring around this layer, all right? When you put on a do-rag, you don't gotta put it on too tight, man. Bring this one around, you know what I'm saying? Boom, okay? Now here's where you tie it in the back. Don't push it back or don't, when you tie the do-rag, don't yank it, bro. Just barely, just barely tie it back there. You feel me? Barely, barely tie it, man. Barely, you feel me? Because the, the harder you tie it, you already have three layers on your forehead. You have the first layer from the whole, from the do-rag. You got the two strings, all right? You wanna barely tie it back there, guys. Barely tie it. Barely add um, any pulling to it. Don't, you feel me? You ain't gotta do that. It's not shoelaces. You don't gotta tie your, sh the way you tie your shoes so hard, you don't gotta tie your do-rag like that. You feel me? Barely do it, all right? Hold the top, pull it down the back. Hold the side, pull it down on the side right here. Hold the other side, pull it down on this side. Now, when you put your do-rag on, Barely, this is gonna stop you from getting bruises on your forehead. This is gonna stop you from getting line marks on your forehead. Now my do-rag isn't on so tight. Now I know some of you guys will be like, well, you know, it comes off when I go to sleep or when I'm swimming. So I tie it so hard. Bro, don't tie it hard, man. Barely tie it, loosen it up a little bit. Cause that mark on your forehead is ugly. That dark spot is ugly, those bruises is ugly. You feel me? You're gonna walk around with a dark spots on your forehead, lines, bruises, and it's ugly, bro. It's ugly, you feel me? Barely tie it, all right? That's why I like the ones with the wide flaps because when you put it on, you barely tie it. My do-rag isn't going anywhere, bro. It's, look at it, it's, it's, it's sealed, you feel me? Barely tie it to prevent you from getting bruises and lines and dark spots on your forehead, cause it's ugly. Now, the other question he asked was, and is it bad to have too much compression? Yes, bro, it's bad for that. It's bad to have too much of that. You could get a headache, you feel me? You're gonna get even a darker, you know, spots on your forehead, even more lines, bruises on your forehead. You may get it in the back. If you have a line back here from when you go brush your hair, it's because you're tying it too hard. You have too much compression. You know what I'm saying? You ever took your do-rag off and your and your and your other do-rag or your your stocking cap or your wave cap and like all oh, this part is squished in and this part is all big or this part's all squished in and this part's all open or you guys can see where this part's just it's too much compression, bro. You don't need all that compression. You feel me? You only need one do-rag. You only need one do-rag. If you're woofing, you can use a do-rag and a wave cap. It makes sense. But if your hair is super short. Too much compression is gonna, bro, you're gonna, you, you, bro, you go turn out retarded. You know what I'm saying? But tie your do-rag on the right way. Don't put, don't tie it too hard, bro. Barely tie it. Barely add a little bit of tight to it to prevent that. Don't put too much compression on your head and make more darker spots. And that's all I got for y'all, man. Hope y'all learned from this video. If you do, please give the video a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. And as always, it's your boy Dre, man, and I'm out.